an action camera, a Spark 2, a Mavic Air 2, or a Phantom 5. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have some great news for you. So DJI finally released an event date that is going to be 15th of May 2019. That's next Wednesday if you're watching the video today. It goes without saying I'm crazy excited. Now the motto is unleash your other side. I'm gonna put the image up there. So unleash your other side. What does that mean? The image is there. So we're clearly seeing someone underwater. So does that mean DJI is now into the underwater drones? This is super unlikely. I am about to feature an underwater drone on this channel, so do not forget to subscribe. But I don't think that this is going to be an underwater drone. But hey, let's focus on what we know for sure first, and then we can start speculating. And yes, in this video, we are speculating. And let me know about your speculations down below. This is going to be a big chat. So I'm quite confident that some YouTubers had early access to the new DJI product. Again, I didn't this time, so I don't know what it's going to be. I'm hoping that DJI will see this video and send me one because we did well with Osmo Pocket, so why not doing it again? But in any case, whatever is coming out, I'm gonna check it out, I'm gonna give you my opinion. So yes, six months after the release of Osmo Pocket, I still love and enjoy, by the way, on a daily basis, we have a new product coming. What could it be? The likely things that would come out of DJI's doors are an action camera, a Spark 2, a Mavic Air 2, or a Phantom 5. I mean, usually the image that we get with the invitation is kind of a reveal. So the underwater aspect of things would kind of point towards an action camera. But again, I have no clue. I didn't know about it, but I kind of know that Osmo Pocket was not enough. So what is it going to be? I mean, an action camera is a great idea and I would love to see what it looks like, especially because DJI is making it. I mean, since we're talking about the wish list and this is kind of a casual chat, this is the action camera that I've been missing in a while. This is a GoPro Hero session. This is GoPro Hero 5 session. Oh yeah, it's written here. And guys, I miss this form factor a lot. Like if DJI comes up with something really small like they did with the pocket and give it all this waterproofing and shock dust proofing, that would be a huge sell for me. But before letting my GoPro go, honestly, I'm heavily invested in GoPro. I have seven, I have my 5S, my six is somewhere there. I have all sorts of accessories. I have the audio thingy. And since we're talking about the audio, I'm hoping that DJI, if they are releasing this action camera, I'm hoping that we will not need this one. Look what I have here. That's a Rode Wireless Go. And now if Rode can get a wireless system this small, DJI can maybe have some support for a similar thing, or at least have a Bluetooth setting in there, maybe sell the accessories as well. Um, it is true that DJI already built some fancy HQ in China. I think it was in China, it's the only one, right? So yeah, they were building like, there was this fancy tower bridge in between. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna put a photo up. So they need to pay for it. That's why I'm sure we're going to see a couple of products with all sorts of accessories attached to it. And hopefully maybe they'll complete the missing Osmo Pocket accessories like the uh, selfie stick, they call it something rod, but it's a selfie stick basically. And the waterproof case is still not available. So we're looking forward to those. Um, because of the water, again, my mind has drifted towards the action camera side of things, but what about a waterproof drone? I mean, honestly, Mavic Air here is a fantastic drone. How can you replace that? Like, let me tell you, if you put a better sound management, like this thing is fantastic, the form factor, everything is perfect, but it's noisy AF, and that's not autofocus. If they can make this thing less noisy, like I don't know what kind of fancy props they're gonna put in this one, like a platinum version, whatever, but this 
really has a lot of room for improvement when it comes to the noise levels. And of course, the wireless connection. I wish, I wish DJI would put the OkiSync 2.0 in a body similar to this one. This is already a 4K 30 frames per second drone, so it's a fantastic drone, but the wireless connection sometimes hampers it. If we can see a Mavic 2 or a Spark 2, Mavic Air 2 or a Spark 2 with OkiSync related solid connection, better noise levels, that would be fantastic. So Spark 2 or Mavic Air 2, would they really come? Like, honestly, Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom are doing great. They are great drones. They are offering everything we want at this stage. And Mavic Air is still great. Like we are forgetting that this was born in January 2018. So it's one and a half years old only, and it is still delivering a fantastic result. Like I took it out recently. I, I can fly this anywhere. Basically because this is less than 500 grams, I am traveling around Europe these days. And here, the name of the game is 500 grams. Anything above 500 grams either requires an annoying procedure for registering your drone or simply a lot of drone, no drone zone enforcements start applying to you if you are above 500 grams. Can they basically fit something similar to Mavic Pro series to this body and add an amazing wireless transmission along with better noise management? We'll see. What about everyone's fantasy? The Phantom 5. There has been a lot of speculation about it. Some said it's coming, some said it will never come. Um, I'm in the camp, we will never see another Phantom, but then DJI came up with this mapping solution which is only working for Phantoms. So, uh, or above maybe, I don't know. I think it was only Phantom. Anyways, DJI Terra, it's easy to look it up. So, what's going to happen? Like, will it be stuck to Phantom 4 Pro series? Will it be old? Then we have the RTK version, but still like Phantom 5 would make a lot of people happy and it already has a great reputation before appearing within the drone community, let me tell you that much. If it's an action camera, you already have my wish list. I want to get rid of this audio adapter and smaller the form factor, the better. If it's a new Mavic Air 2 or a Spark 2, make it less noisy and please, please work on the connection. AccuSync 2 would be great, but I don't think that product management that DJI would do that. So I'm um, keeping things realistic here. Um, then there was this discussion about this pro level device that looks like a swan basically with a pro level camera attached to an, again, a very a complicated gimbal mechanism basically. Um, if it comes out of DJI's doors, that's great, but that's not something that I'm interested in to be frank with you. I'm hoping that if that comes, at least there will be one of the things that I'm talking about here because then it's not that interesting for me. And DJI also knows that it's not interesting for me, so they did not invite me to this event this time. It's in New York, so... Anyways, that is kind of a reason for me to believe that we are gonna see something pro level, maybe Phantom 5 or that swan-shaped uh, gimbal-ish thingy, like a Ronin. Z? Oh, that's actually a great idea because it's Z-shaped. Ronin Z? <laughs> okay, maybe not. I'm just making things up here. Um, what about if we get all of them? That would be a fantastic summer, wouldn't it? Like new drones everywhere. I mean, Mavic 2 Pro is now setting the industry standard. Like there is evolved drone from something labs. I'm not even sure because they are not that common. Their demo units has been going around within the drone community, but we haven't seen someone who's been super enthusiastic about it. Everyone is happy that there is some competition to DJI, but no one is saying that this is better than DJI's drones. So they are still the king of the jungle. It seems like it will remain that way for a while. All right, guys. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe and let me know what you think is coming out of DJI's doors. And please, please, Get back to me in a month or two because whatever is coming, I'll most likely grab it and provide an amazing review video for you. Once again, thanks for watching this video and as per usual by now, arrivederci!